Hey guys, Aubrey here with Erin Motorsports. Um, I got this truck. This is a lumber company truck. Uh, I use it for hauling my race car um, when I need to, but mostly this is uh, the truck that I drive for the lumber company. Um, we just got this this year. It's a 2023 Western Star 4700 SB with a sleeper on it with the uh, 40 inch sleeper. So when I was looking for this truck, I couldn't find any information on these trucks with a sleeper. I couldn't find any videos, any pictures. Um, this is the 4700 is typically a vocational truck. So it's usually used on triaxles and uh, cement trucks and stuff like that. Um, but uh, I had, I, I got the tractor in the 4700. I wanted the short wheelbase, setback front axle, the short nose. Um, so I'm gonna do a quick walkthrough, show you the truck, show you the stuff I've done to it, and, um, and uh, give, you, give you some information on it and, and, and show you the inside of the sleeper cab too. All right, so here's the truck. Uh, this is the uh, X-Guard 150 XC or something um guard for it uh one thing to note is that if you get this thing without the um the pockets here without the the um toe uh hook pockets there that the uh the x guard mounts won't work so i had to make my own mounts and uh reinforcements in the back of the bumper there um but uh it wasn't too difficult i was able to use some of the existing holes and hardware um <clears throat> So with this truck, I got, I, I, I needed a, a short, shorter wheelbase as possible. I get into a lot of tight spots, um, especially some of these Amish mills that I get into. So this is uh, right around a 200 inch wheelbase. Um, so it's pretty short as far as these trucks go, uh, especially to have a sleeper on it. Um, that's due to the setback front axle and the fact that I designed it um, as short as possible. So on this side, I, I have it set up um, so this tank is a 60-40 split um, with hydraulic oil in front. Right now I don't have a wet line on this, but um, I'm probably going to have this truck hopefully for 20 or 30 years. And uh, I thought at some point I might end up getting a dump trailer for it or a uh, picker trailer, in which case I need to have a wet line on it. So I, I got it, ordered it with all the provisions for that. So a little less fuel storage, um, but uh, other than that, it's really nice to have. These boxes um, are, I put these on here. Um, this one's really nice because it gives me some uh, some steps to get up here. Um, had to make some modifications to them and build the mounts, but um, they're, they're nice. It's nice and rugged. I didn't have as much space as I would have liked to for these boxes, but I managed to get them squeezed in here. Um, keeps uh, a lot of this stuff out of my cab. Gives me more space. So, um, this is the a headache rack that I built for for my old Freightliner, and uh, I had to get a little creative here because I couldn't get this one U joint in there. So I made that myself, or U bolt. I'm sorry. Um, <clears throat> and I've got a winch on here so I can winch stuff up onto my step deck. Uh, this is kind of nice too. This is called an easy claw. Um, I had issues with the uh, the springs either either they were too short and my lines would break when I turned the truck too sharp, or um, when I got long enough lines, then they wanted to touch the deck, which isn't legal. So I had to have two sets of springs back here. So I got this easy claw, and this thing goes out to like uh, I don't know how far it goes out. It goes out a long ways. Um, and keeps con consistent uh, pressure on there. So <clears throat> when I got the truck, the battery box was um, too far uh, too far back. So in order to make space for this box, I actually had to move the battery box and move the um, hooks here. So uh, <clears throat> a few modifications there. But uh, I had to cut out the backside of these boxes too to make them fit in here um, around the suspension. So this has the Detroit DD13 um, engine in it, and it has a 13-speed manual. Um, so when I had this thing built, I wanted to have a good highway cruising speed. I didn't have 13 gears, so um, 
you know, you got plenty of uh, plenty of gear space there. So I went with uh, a little bit taller gears in the rear. So I think they're 355 gears in the rear, which means that um, with double overdrive, uh, the 13-speed has double overdrive because your your top hole is split. So I um, it, in in top gear, I think I can cruise at 75 um, at about 1600 RPM. So um, definitely would recommend the tall gears if you're going to have, uh, you know, a 13 speed, uh, with a 10 speed, you kind of need some of those lower gears. So I don't know. <clears throat> um, so this is the interior. I have, uh, my phone holder set up here and um, this holds my tablet, which I use for navigation and does my e-logs. Uh, I have these extra switches in here. This also has um, the inner axle lock and then the rear diff lock. So all four wheels will lock um, if I flip those on. Um, that, was, that was one of the other things that I really needed with this truck was the locking diffs because... Um, you know, I get into just a lot of places uh, where you really need it, especially in the winter time. So, so one of the things that I put on here after market was this Halo View camera. Um, this works pretty slick. So I have this hooked into option one that switches on my um, uh, CB, my camera, and uh, what else does it do? Oh, my cell phone booster. Um, and then uh, if I turn my um, my clearance lights on then it activates my 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 trailer camera so this is actually a, a camera that's on the very back of my trailer and these guys have a pretty slick system um so there's the camera on the headache rack and it's just a work light um so that i can uh, i can see my load when i'm uh you know unloading stuff or loading stuff after dark and run back here real quick And there's the one on the back. Uh, they have a um, a camera that goes on the very back of the trailer. It comes with like 40, it comes with I think like 50 feet of wire and a um, transmitter. And the transmitter is actually mounted right there on the uh, front of the trailer so so the way it works is it comes with a cable and then it comes with like a like a almost like a poe injector or something like that where it, it, it um uh puts the um power into the system so you can actually um put that injector um up near the transmitter or you can put it back near the camera at either end of the, of the cable so it's a really slick system um you can put cameras on the sides too um, but you know, I just like to have, the other thing is, is that it has a little, um, SD card in there. So you put the SD card in there, it acts as a dash cam. So I have that for my rear and then I have a small dash cam up here for the front. Um, because I just like to have a record. People do so much, um, stupid stuff when you're driving a big truck. They, you know, would rather, rather die than get stuck behind an 18 wheeler. Um, even if you're empty. So, um, I really like this camera. I like being able to see as much as possible and um, you can switch through so you can set it up with up to four different views and then you can switch so that it's that, that, or split. Um, so a lot of times if I'm hauling with uh, with my race trailer, um, you know, you can't even see in this camera so I'll just switch it so I can just see out the back uh, and then, uh, you know, see if people are behind me or make sure I'm not backing up into something depth perception gets pretty bad when you know you've got a 50 foot long trailer on there so it can be really tough to tell in your mirrors how close you are to something at the back of the trailer um so um what else can i tell you it's got your miles per gallon you've got some different um menus here that you can um uh, check on stuff and reset some stuff i think you can check uh reset some of the maintenance stuff so 
go to the diagnostics service. So you can set your um, service intervals and it'll, it'll give you reminders to, to check stuff. Um, and uh, you can select what gauges you want to show on there, language display. There's not a ton you can do with it, but um, it's, uh, it does give you pretty accurate fuel mileage from what I've um, seen back out of that. Um, and again, this, this one, oh, one of the things I will mention about Western Star, and they, the dealer will not tell you this, they come automatically with a five minute idle uh, timer. So if your truck idles for more than five minutes, it automatically shuts off. Um, and I uh, obviously didn't want that, so I had them remove that, but they won't, they're not allowed to tell you about it. You have to, you have to request to have that removed. Um, so, um, what else can I tell you? So this is, uh, oh, so these switches, um, you can tap right into the back of them in here, or it goes back to a connector back here, um, for your accessories too. So, so this is the 40 inch sleeper here. Um, I really like to have good visibility. I most of the time I'm not sleeping in here. Uh, it's very rare that I need to sleep in here, but it gives me a little extra space for the dog and the kids and, and uh, you know, take a nap if, you, if you're out a long ways. Um, so this one came with, the, uh, with this system back here. Um, and that uh, cools your sleeper. Just all that it does Low air out of these. That's right there. So, I don't know that that was really necessary. Um, I didn't realize that that was a whole separate thing that was in here. I think I could have had it taken off, but um, really don't need it with a 40 inch sleeper. But uh, the one thing I did do is I had the, uh, uh, they make a little diesel heater in here, so we'll pop this up. <clears throat> So in here, there's this Wabasto heater that runs off of the, off of the um, diesel out of the tank. And this will, um, you can set your temperature right there. This does not work with, with the existing system here, but it, um, you can set your temperature right there and it will heat your sleeper in the winter time. So there's your, um, you know, and if you didn't have this in here, you'd have a whole bunch more space underneath the, the sleeper bed too. Um, but, so I keep some few things in here that you need to have. Um, and it's got lights automatically turn on when you lift this up. I don't know if that's really necessary either, but it's kind of handy. Um, so I've obviously been putting the wear and tear in on this plastic and I don't want to cover it yet. Um, I often have my, my dog with me. Um, but I'm having, uh, there's a lady that does upholstery nearby and she's making me a cover it'll go, it'll be fitted to this. Um, so it'll be a nice, uh, vinyl cover that I can put on there and, um, uh, keep this nice and clean because the last thing you want is that mattress getting nasty. And I don't know where you get another one. I guess Western Star will probably make one for you, but you can see it's custom fitted and it, they're, they're pretty, it's pretty extra long too. It's, it's longer than your average. It's not like you can take a twin and just cut it down because it, it'll be too short. So all right, so this is the sleeper here. You got you got plenty of space in here. Uh, you can't stand up in here, obviously. You know, this is, uh, it's not very tall. Um, but you got a fair amount of space. And, you know, if I go all the way down to the end here, I got about a, two feet above my head there. So <clears throat> gives me plenty of space. These shelves were quite a bit extra. Um, but... Uh, Let me turn this around again. So yeah, these shelves were a bit extra, but I think they're totally worth it. Um, you know, I think they were like 200 bucks a piece or something like that to add on, but uh, it's really nice to have uh, a few things that are up and out of the way here, especially I always have to have the safety equipment and I have to have the um, my uh, tallying sticks and tallying books and stuff. So um, 
is the view from the sleeper. So you have these pull across and you can close in the sleeper. Or you have this one over here. Pulls right around and you have the entire place to yourself. Um, and then these, this comes with a roll down cover there and that one rolls down and covers over there too. So, um, but this has very good visibility. I can see really well um, from, from the driver's seat there when I'm backing something up. Uh, so, you know, the, the uh, sound system's nothing to write home about. It gets the job done. It's got the uh, steering wheel controls, um, cruise control. You can answer the phone from the steering wheel there. Um, one of the things that's kind of nice is you can flash your rear lights or your headlights well, the headlights aren't on right now. Um, from uh, from the steering wheel there, the signal other truckers. Um, that's that's about all I've got on this thing. So hopefully this helps some people out because, like I said, when I was trying to find um, information on this uh, sleeper cab, I couldn't find a single thing. I, I'm really really happy with this truck. Um, this is the 505 horse Detroit uh, DD13. Um, it's got tons of power, tons of torque. I really like the 13-speed manual. Um, so it's just it's, you got your low gear, and then but I almost never use low um, unless I'm in a really tight spot. But um, then you got your four positions, so you just go one, two, three, four, and then you're splitting the gears after after you switch into high range. So one, two, three, four, high range, and then you're gonna split high, low, high, low, high, low, and high, low. Um, oh, the other thing is that's <coughs> slick on this truck is it's got a switch here. Um, so it's got this switch right here, and it's actually got um, your mains and your auxiliaries. So you can switch the whole thing off if you're gonna be leaving it for a while but um like when i get in here after letting it sit for uh three four days it'll actually have all of this electronics will be switched off um you know i mean i, I switch these off every time i get get out of here but it, it, it'll have all that stuff switched off um because the battery's drained down to some extent and um so it's kind of a safety feature so you're not running your battery dead so it'll start it up and it'll run for like maybe a minute or two and then it'll kick these back on once it's got enough voltage there or maybe it's a timer i don't know um but yeah i think that's uh that's about it um i really can't complain this is this it's super quiet in here you've got double sealed doors um really thick mat on the floor um which is really dirty right now i need to clean it so don't judge me um, oh, I got these uh, defrosters built in here into the windshields, which are, are, are going to be really nice. I haven't had it through the winter yet, but um, uh, then it's got that little mirror over there, which I don't think I've ever looked in, but uh, I don't know. It's there for something. Um, I was able to put a cell phone booster on and run it down inside the existing mirror in through without ever having to, um, you know, cut or drill any holes. So that was really nice. Um, <clears throat> mounted the cell phone booster right there and then I can actually uh, pull that out and use it in my RV and just leave the antennas in here so that's the that's the antenna right there um, so anyways that's the uh, that's the tour thanks for watching um, I know this is a little bit out of the ordinary for what I'm typically doing but uh, I thought that there were some people out there that would find this interesting uh, especially people that are looking at buying one of these trucks so um, like and subscribe for more content and thanks for watching.